Guys, do you want to use Lovable completely for free? No fees and no paying for AI? A smart, clean website runs instantly, and you can build the same site in just 10 minutes. Open Lovable from Firecrawl is free and open source, letting you create or clone any website without spending any money. So here's how we're going to do it. First, grab the Open Lovable GitHub project and install the tools you need. Second, run it locally on your computer and start building websites right away. And finally, if you want to go bigger, you can deploy it online and even launch your very own AI website builder. All right, friends, here's how you can do it step by step. So to get to this GitHub repository, all you need to do is head over to the GitHub URL or just click the link I've dropped for you in the description. That'll open the repository right up for you. Now this project is totally open source, created by Firecrawl. And if you're wondering what's Firecrawl, basically it's this awesome platform we use to scrape website data, super handy. Okay, so once you're on the repository page, just copy the link, then on your computer, pick an empty folder. I've got one right here. I'm just gonna right click inside it and hit open in terminal. From there, it's simple. Type in git clone, followed by the link you just copied from GitHub. Hit enter, and boom, the open lovable source code starts downloading straight to your machine. Next step, open up that new folder. That's the full project, completely open source and ready to go. But before you can actually run it, you need to install the dependencies. Easiest way, right click again, open terminal, and just run npm install. That's it. This will pull in all the packages and dependencies you need to make the project work. Oh guys, by the way, there's actually an even easier way to do this. So check this out. If you're using something like Cursor, Windsurf, or even any other tool, you can literally just drop the GitHub link in there and ask the AI coding agent to clone the repo and install all the dependencies for you. Super simple. Now, if you don't have a subscription to any of those fancy AI code editors, no worries. Honestly, I'd recommend trying Warp. Warp is another AI coding agent, and the best part? You can use it completely free. Just grab the free plan, install Warp on your machine, and then tell Warp to clone the GitHub repo for you. It'll take care of the whole setup. And really, it's not that complicated. You'll see that all the dependencies get installed automatically. All right, so let's jump back to our project folder. You'll see the node underscore modules folder. That's where all the packages and dependencies live, and it means our project is ready to roll. All right, guys, what we need to do now is set up a few environment variables. I know that might sound a little techy, but trust me, it's simple, and I'll walk you through everything. So if you hop back over to the GitHub repo, you'll notice there's a file called .env.local. That's your local environment variables file. Here's what we actually need. First, a Firecrawl API key. You can sign up on Firecrawl and grab that. Next, we're gonna use Grok as our AI provider, so you'll also need a Grok API key. Now they do list other providers like Anthropic, OpenAI, and Gemini, but for our project, we're just sticking with Grok. If instead you choose to run things with the E2B sandbox, you'd also need to grab an E2B API key from their site. But if you're using the default Vercel sandbox, you don't need that. Okay, why Grok? Because it gives us access to multiple AI models. And the best part is you can use many of them completely free. In our case, we'll be taking advantage of one of those free models. Let's kick this off with the very first step you'll need to sign up for E2B and create your API key there. Super easy, I promise. So here's what E2B actually is. It's basically an E2B sandbox environment. But don't worry, you don't need to understand all the technical stuff behind it. All you gotta do is open the link, hit sign up, and log in with your Google account. That's it. Once you're in, head over to the API key section. From here, just click Create API Key Give it a name and copy the key that gets generated for you. Now the final step. Jump back into your project using any code editor you like and paste that API key right into your project files. Done and done. To keep things simple, I really recommend opening this project inside VS Code. Now, if you're brand new and wondering, what's VS Code? It's basically a code editor, kind of like your workspace for writing and managing code. Technically, it's an IDE, Integrated Development Environment but you don't need to stress about that. It just means it's got a bunch of useful features built in. The nice thing is, it's completely free. Just search for 
VS Code Download Online. Head to the official Microsoft site and grab the version that matches your system, Windows, Mac, or Linux. Then install it like any normal app. You don't need to sign up for anything, and you don't have to mess with complicated settings. Just install it, open it up, and you're ready to start coding right away. Just go up to File, Open Folder, pick the folder where your project is saved, and open it in VS Code. Once the project loads, you'll see a file called env.example. I'll create another file named .env.local, but I won't show you what's inside because my API key is in there. That's the one we're working with. Now all you need to do is grab the API key you created earlier on E2B, head back into VS Code, and paste it right next to the line that says E2B API key inside that file. All right, that's one step out of the way. Next up, we need to create an API key for Firecrawl. So why do we even need this key? Well, Firecrawl is the tool that basically scrapes websites. You give it a URL, and the Open Lovable app will pull in all the data from that site so you can rebuild or customize it however you like. Pretty cool, right? Here's how to do it. Head over to firecrawl.dev, sign up, it's totally free, then go to your dashboard. You'll see an API key already waiting for you. Just copy that key and drop it into your env.local file inside your project. That's all you need for Firecrawl. Now, you'll notice a few other environment variables in there, like Entropic, Gemini, and so on. Forget about those. We're not using them. The only other one we actually need right now is from Grog. So, go to Grog, log in, and hit Start Building. In the API Key section, click Create API Key, copy it, and paste that one into your env.local file in VS Code as well. Once you've got everything set up, there's just one last thing to do. Run a single command, npm run dev. Inside VS Code, just open a new terminal, type that command in, and hit enter. That's what actually starts your project and gets it running. Now, if you run into any errors, don't worry. Just copy the error message and paste it into your AI-powered code editor. Just drop the error in there and ask it to fix it for you. Easy. For me, the project ran smoothly without a single hiccup. But if you do hit a snag, at least now you know exactly how to troubleshoot it. That'll spin up your project. Once it's running, all you need to do is open your local host link. In my case, the project ended up running on 3000. I just opened that URL in my browser, and boom, the front end popped right up. Now you might see a small error message show up here. Don't worry about it. It's just a simple HTML warning and you can totally ignore it. Now here's the fun part. You can just drop in the link to any website and it'll go ahead and clone that site for you. So let me show you. I'll grab this link, paste it in right here. From the drop-down menu, you'll see different AI models you can choose from GT5, Kimic K2, or Sonnet 4 G2.5 Pro. I use Gemini 2.5 Pro. So to keep things smooth, just stick with Gemini 2.5 Pro. And now I get to pick a design style for the site. You can choose from things like dark mode, 3D depth, minimalist, or a bunch of others. For this one, I'm gonna go with dark mode. At this point, you can also add extra details if you want, like special instructions or tweaks to the design. And hit the enter button. Now it's gonna start cloning the site for us. You can even deploy the site live if you want. Right now you can actually see it generating the code and honestly, the speed is pretty solid. What it's building here is a full working website. And the cool part? You can download all the source code and then open it up in any AI-powered code editor to keep tweaking it. And look at this, it literally pulled in every single section from that site and rebuilt it here. Now, not every image got copied over, but the content itself? Spot on. Firecrawl really crushed it here. Basically, what Firecrawl does is extract all the content from the site, text, structure, layout, and then it rebuilds it into a fresh landing page. Now here's the cool part. You can even change up the style. Let's try something fun, like retro style. I'll just select retro, hit enter, and let's see what happens. All right, it's pulling the content again, cloning all those sections, but this time it's giving everything that retro twist. You can see it setting up the project, generating all the code, 
and it's actually building out a full Next.js project in the background. So the site's been totally transformed. It now has a cool retro look that really stands out. Now you can go ahead and download the source code or make any changes you want to the project. At this stage, Lovable is fully up and running on your local machine. And here's the really cool part. You can create as many websites as you want with it. Just keep in mind, if you're using Grok, it does have some usage limits. Right now, we're using it completely for free, but if you start creating 100 websites, you'll definitely hit those limits. So use it fairly, don't try to abuse the free plan, and you'll be totally fine. So that's how you can use Lovable for free. I hope this helped you set it up on your machine. Any questions? Drop them in the comments. I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.